Hello, today we're going to have a review on the Kobe Kairos tablet. The model is the MID7012. And first, let's see what it all comes with when you first get it. Comes with the tablet itself. Comes with this pouch. Just put it in. Comes with the little pen. It comes also with the charger, which can cannot be plugged into computer as you can see. It also comes with this to connect it to a computer, but it's not for charging, only for transferring data. So it's not like phones that you you can plug it into a computer and charge it and change that. There's two different ones for that. There's this for cleaning the actual tablet. Some Kobe earbuds and this for plugging into a keyboard or something like that okay so first we'll take a look at the tablet itself from the outside as you can see on the front face we see the screen by the way this is the 7 inch tablet on, we see the screen with four buttons on the side, which are the home, the back, the menu, and the search buttons. Then, let's take a look at the sides. On the top, we see the on-off, right here, and the plus or minus for the volume, the volume cues. On the bottom, we see nothing but the actual plastic. Left, same with that. Now on the right, we see a lot of things. We see first this for charging. That's where the charger goes. That's the mini USB for transferring data to a computer. The one we saw right here. We also see a microphone, a 3.5 head, millimeter headphone jack, and a slot for a micro SD card. And then on the back we see that it's Brandon Kobe, it's Kairos, it's the model MID7012. We see an external speaker right here, which is only one. And we also see the reset button on the back. Okay, so let's take a look on the inside of the tablet. The actual tablet is, it works with it can work with both your finger or the pen, but it works better with the pen, in my opinion. A lot of those. A lot of those. And let's take a look at this. Well, let me turn off the lights. Okay. No. Okay, so we see the home screen, the, the volume, the lock, we see the day the time so let's unblock this and then we see this by the way runs on Android 2.3.3 and we can see the time 1104 at the top with the notification bar there's no notifications currently okay so mainly we see just see the search bar Facebook, YouTube, gallery, book, music, e-music, browser, email settings, wow, blah, blah, So, those are the apps that I have. As you can see, I do have Angry Birds installed, so you can play games, even though sometimes on some games it might be a little leggy. When I first downloaded Angry Birds, it was leggy, but it's getting better over time. So it just starts bad, but it continues. So, first of all, let's start with saying that this tablet does not include Google Play or Android Market. It comes with GetJar right here, but you can download the Amazon App Store, obviously, really easily. And you just go to Amazon.com, find an app or something, no App Store, whatever. So, let's take a look first at the, whoops, sorry for that, at the actual App Store that comes with Getjar, which, my opinion, is not really good.
So here it is. We see the home category apps. Some apps, eBuddy, Angry Man, Candy Crush, Angry Birds, Star Wars, Minecraft, Pocket Edition, whatever. So that's the that's Get Jar. That's what it actually comes with. So it does not have a lot of apps or a lot of the ones a lot of people like. For example, Facebook, probably one of the most wanted ones. Let's take a look at that. And as we see, and the results came out. Not the actual Facebook app came out. Came eBuddy as Yappy Chick on Facebook, Hot Magazines on Facebook, Being for Facebook, Social Plus, Facebook, Google Plus, Facebook Photo Sync, Live Wallpaper, Facebook Hider. So as you can see, it already showed to not be really good by not having Facebook, which is like, along with Twitter, the top apps I should say it does come with Facebook Messenger but that's kind of it for that well there so I do have Facebook but I downloaded that out of the Amazon App Store so you should want probably if you get this download the Amazon App Store right away because the catch is not really good so let's take a look at the actual browser the internet on um, my mail right now. Okay, let's just stop this. Okay, let's take a look at this. At the browsing speed, I'm gonna go on a website that I actually designed for a company of my family. Whoops. Just go on that. It's a Weebly created website. Here it is. Huh. Can't really see anything. Oh, yeah, there's nothing on the main page so far. Okay, our products. Our products. On the web. Hope this works. It's loading. Okay, so it works. It takes a lot, a little bit of time, but mostly it's good. The only thing that I really didn't like is that you can't zoom in like this. You actually have to click on the zoom in up over here. So that was a browser. It's not that bad. Let's go into one more site just to test it. Whoops. Sorry, activity browser, whatever. First close. Whatever. So, actually, the browser works really good. I don't know why it's not responding right now, but it's really good for this tablet. Email works great. It's right there. Email. Oops. I just clicked on it. Whatever. Whoa. Um. Take a look at the gallery. Actually, I was surprised at how good the images actually show on this. Wait, just wait for it. There. Might not seem as good on the camera, but. Oops. Click the button. Click the sleep button. And there it goes again. 
it takes a little bit of time to load there. But when it looks, it actually looks really good. You, know, you can see in the camera, but the images actually show really good. I was surprised at that because this is a really cheap tablet. It costs for 35 bucks, but you can get it. Well, this was a used one, but you can get a new one for like 50, 60, something like that. It's pretty cheap. And yeah, the images actually show really good for for this. And take a look at music. Really don't have any music. Let's just play that. Okay, let's use the top volume key. Okay, whatever. So music plays there. Let's go on the Facebook app. Which I downloaded out of the Amazon App Store, like I said, because Gajar doesn't have it. Yeah, it's not responding. Facebook does take a little bit, but besides that, that's kind of it. That's kind of the only app I had trouble with. Well, Angry Birds at first, but now it's back to normal. So Facebook takes a lot to load. That's the only problem. But the app works great, actually. You can do anything you can do in a phone. You can switch it. Oh, not responding. Whatever. It's not responding right now. I don't know if I don't have a connection or what. But the actual app is really good, I should say. It works great. YouTube works great. And we we'll probably won't have time because I'm running out of memory on this. But YouTube, it's not the actual YouTube app, it's just kind of a link to the YouTube page. But it works good. It works. It's actually a pretty good tablet for how cheap it is. Um, it might not have everything. But I was surprised that this does have a gyroscope, so you can play bike race. This or Fast and Furious or anything they use a gyroscope, it just a little bit messed up because I had to play it like this instead of like this. But yeah, it does have a gyroscope, it works pretty good for how cheap it was and it might not have everything, but it has a lot of stuff. So, yeah, overall, for the price, yeah, really good. Well, that was the Kobe Kyrus MID 7012 tablet review. And see you in the next one.